Okay, this one is going to be a how-to video, and this one is going to be how to install pseudo live TV add-on on Kodi. Um, and by using the silicon dust tuners, uh, they have, out of the goodness of their heart, anybody that uh, owns one of their tuners, over-the-air tuners, or the Prime, they give you free, and I mean free, full hours of guide data for each one of your channels. So uh, that's pretty, pretty awesome. But anyway, they do give you four hours of guide data to go with their tuners. Now, if you subscribe to the uh, DVR project that they've got, uh, they give you 14 days of guide data. So, uh, I did uh, join their Kickstart uh, pro uh, program, so I did, uh, I do get the 14 days of guide data. But anyway, uh, this is one of the skins. This is called Concast. The next video, I will show you how to implement the different skins but as it shows right now uh, this is the uh, TV guide that they got so I will show you how to install it and configure it so right now okay here is the pseudo live TV this is the Kodi app that we will be installing and then on the next video, I will show you the different, how to install the different skins that uh, Mr. Trami has created. There's the con Concast. That's the one you're looking at now. The Cube, the Titan X, the Neutron, Box, and one of my other videos shows the uh, Box also. Purple Knox. So anyway, I will show you how to install those on the next video. Now again, we will be using these tuners. That one, I have an older one of that one. Or the Extend. Or the Prime. So those we'll be using. Now my particular case, I'm using this uh, mini computer attached to my TV running Kodi. Uh, but any device that attaches to your computer that runs Kodi will run that pseudo live TV app add-on. So anyway, I just want to show you that one. Also, I'm using this as my remote control. Yeah, I have a Logitech, Logitech remote that I use for most of my stuff, but uh, since I tinker so much and keep changing things, it's just easier for me to buy that little cheap cheap remote there and use that. Anyway, that works pretty good. So anyway, I just want to give you an idea of what we will be using. So, all right, now I will start showing you how to install it. Okay, in order for Pseudo TV to utilize the uh, TV guide data from Silicon Dust, uh, we need to enable the HD Home Run app. So yeah, it's a PVR app, so I will show you how to do that. Okay, go down to PVR Clients. And go to the PVR HD Home Run Client, which I've already got it enabled, but configure it. Uh, hide protected channels if you have protected channels. Uh, debugging. I duplicate channels, blah, blah, blah. Since mine's over the air, I don't have any of those, so I don't have to worry about that. Okay. Now we're going to restart it. Okay, let's see what we got. Go to the guide. Now this guide, as it stands now, we only get four hours of guide data. Now using pseudo TV app add-on yesterday, uh, I was getting a lot more than this. I didn't go all the way out to two weeks, but I had two or three days that I went to check. So uh, 
We'll see what happens. Okay, but anyway, you've got to have this guy data here for pseudo, D, uh, pseudo TV to pick it up. All right, so we'll get out of that. And what I'm going to do, I will show you how to get and download the apps you need. Okay, now we've set up our HD Home Run uh, TV Guide app. So anyway, now we're going to install Pseudo Live. Okay, the first thing we need to do is download the repository. Save. Okay, there it is under Downloads, right there. Okay, now we are going to go back to Cody, go to go to add-ons. Okay, install from zip. Now I'm at the uh, root of the C drive. Go to Users, Clark, Downloads. Okay, there's a repository we just downloaded. Okay, got that one done. Okay, now let's go to My Add-ons. Okay, here's the one we just downloaded. Update. Okay, all right, now let's see, go to programs. Okay, we go to add ons. Now we want to install from repository that we just downloaded, and there it is. Lumatex repo, the add-on repository, program add-ons, pseudo live TV, install. It is installing, but it's taking a few minutes to download. It will pop up in a minute. Well, anyway, while that was downloading, uh, Play On Browser, I don't have Play On, don't have to have that. Uh, companion. We'll, uh, we'll install that. Pseudo library. We'll install that. Okay, as you can see, some of them are installing now. Okay, it's going to take a minute because it's uh, working. So as soon as that comes back up, I will continue. Okay, we got the add-on installed. So now let's go back to My Add-ons. And we'll go to Program Add-ons. And there's the Pseudo Live TV enabled. Okay, let's configure it. Open channel configuration. Okay, there's nothing there yet because we have not done a scan. And 
enable all of start. Media limit 100, that's good. Now, if you have a multitude of channels using your HD Home 1 Prime, you may want to increase that. Tweaks. Now I do use track T, so I uh, I enabled that one. Visuals. Now that the channel logo, that app add-on creates that uh, location. And we're gonna use that, the season one, episode one, we're gonna use that. Uh, find missing, blah 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 blah. Anyway. You can take a look at those and see what you need. Uh, most of them are, are, by default, are okay. Now, the DVR is not working yet, but it says uh, XML file location. TV uh, Junkie recording. Okay, auto two. All right, we're gonna click on that. Find Cody PR back in. Now that's the one we just added from the back end. Okay, there's our settings. All right, now we're going to go back to programs. It does take <coughs> it does take a little while to acquire everything. Now, one thing it does while it's doing this, uh, it searches. I have. Uh, couple external NASAs that has some uh, movies that's got the uh, DVD rips that I've got because so I got stacks and stacks of DVD movies and a few Blu-rays now but anyway when I want to watch a movie I don't have to sit here and dig through all my uh, my movies so anyway I ripped them and put them on my uh, NAS so I could watch them without having to get up to replace the uh, the disc but anyway, it's going to go out and find that. Plus, I've got a lot of the recorded TV shows. It's going to find that and add a channel for that. But you'll see as it goes. So right now, it's searching for the channel logos. But it will take a few minutes to uh, uh, gather all this information. And even when it starts showing the uh, video, it's still in the background gathering data. So we'll see here shortly. Now again, this is going to take a little while to gather all the data for the different channels. So the guy... <clears throat> so that's all you're going to see right now until it starts adding more data. And it takes a little while, so uh, just be patient and let it do its thing. 
So I'll go ahead and pause it for a while and let it uh, go ahead and do its thing and then I'll come back and show you a little bit what it, what it accomplished. Okay, I think it is finally finished adding all it's going to add. So it, uh, it added my 35 channels from over the air. And again, it uses the uh, TV guide from the silicon dust, the one that they provide. Uh, again, thank them for providing the uh, free guide data uh, for purchasing their uh, hardware. But anyway, it goes out to four hours. And even though I uh, am a subscriber to the PVR pilot program, uh, I should have two weeks worth, but this program is only allowing me uh, four hours worth so that's a limitation on this now one other thing that I was going to show you this it creates uh, starting here like the ABC it's creating channels from my uh, recordings that I've already recorded that's on my NAS so it goes out and reads that information and sets up a channel for it uh, and they call it like CBS, BBC, which in reality, I don't know where they're coming up with the name, they're just coming up, but again, these are the uh, recorded TV shows that I've already recorded that are stored on my NAS and external uh, hardware. So I'm just going to give you an idea. Oh, it's adding another one. If you notice down the right hand corner, it just set up another uh, channel for something. But it, it actually comes in pretty handy what this is because a lot of times I have no idea what I want to watch. So this makes it real easy. I just scan through it, pick what I want, and voila, Tora Tora Tora. Oh, I gotta watch that. That's, that's one of my favorites, Tora Tora Tora. And sometimes I have to dig through my stack of <laughs> DVDs to find it. So this really makes it easy. So anyway, I just want to show you, and that's what it does. But again, it is using this. It is a limitation of four hours on the uh, uh, TV guide data using the over-the-air over the antenna. Okay, there we go. We're starting with the PBR now. Uh, now what I had on the other, uh, before I tried this one, I was using Schedule Direct and that one gave me the 14 days of guide data. But I wanted to show a demonstration using just this hardware of your device that attaches to your TV, but it has to be able to play uh, or use uh, coding. And using any one of those um, HD Home Run tuners, that's all you need. Okay, uh, that's it. That's what I wanted to show you. Thank you much.